With me now is Richard Burnett from the Road Haulage Association. And many of your members are one-man bands, aren't they? Owner drivers. What are they worried about after Brexit? Well, you're right. 85% of the market are, are small, medium-sized businesses. They're worried about the customs process. They're worried about uh, what that's going to mean and access to Europe from their perspective. But any delays at ports is going to have a knock-on effect in terms of cost, and that's going to have a knock-on effect to the consumer. So do you think prices are going to rise as a result of that? As a, as a result of a no-deal Brexit, I, I think and, you know, almost definitely we're going to see an increase, an increase in cost. It could actually put businesses out of business if we, if we see long delays at the ports. I mean, we had this scenario where people were describing lorry loads of fresh produce rotting because of those long queues. We know many of your members are actually loading onto this ferry behind us now. No, absolutely. This is a reality. This isn't scaremongering. This is, this is the inevitable... Uh, I, I guess output of, uh, of a no deal were, were delays when you've got short shelf life product that has a you know a life of five five days seven days if we don't get it into the supermarkets quick enough it'd be written off are you talking to politicians at a high level though to actually you know tell them your concerns we, we have been we've been talking about brexit for the last two years we're talking to the likes of chris grayling at a very senior level making sure that they really do understand the implications of a, a no deal and how important and it is I, I, I think that it's a bit too late, but I think they're beginning to realise the implications of that now, uh, and it's critical that we do get a, a deal for our industry. Richard Burnett, thank you very much for joining us.